Welcome to Maple Porch and Ivy, and I'm Kelly, and today, just doing a little chit chat, show you a couple things I got uh, that I'm pretty excited about that are kind of unique. One is very unique. Oh, no, I got two. Two that's very unique, and I got a uh, a book that just came in yesterday that I pre-ordered that I got before, um, the kind of like before the official release, uh, so that I'm stoked on. So, first things first, if you notice on my head, I got myself a hat last Friday, and I am planning on doing something with it uh, that I will be sharing, um, which I will be making a video on. I will give you a little hint. Um, if some of you have followed me for a while or from last year, um, my husband, one of the gifts my husband gave me that he made on his 3D printer is this little owl. And I just got some like um, pins, like to make brooches, and I'm thinking of putting it onto this hat. I'm gonna add. It. I'm gonna do something else with the hat. You could probably get an idea, but I will be hopefully maybe making a video of that soon. So uh, yeah, so I'm gonna be getting into hats. I used to, I used to. Do baseball hats when I was much younger like teens on and off uh, a couple times in my early 20s and then I didn't do it for a while and I met my husband and I did I did wear a hat for a short bit and I just stopped wearing hats and I decided no I think it was like sometime last year I was really itching of going back to wearing hats and I think it's gonna be something that I'm gonna be it's gonna be part of my wardrobe from here on out because why not uh, and I tend to like so far, um, Fandoras like these. This is a large to extra large. This one I got for like seven dollars at a uh, antique store uh, that I made a trip uh, last Friday. Uh, this is one of the things I got. I got a couple things uh, that I will. Yeah, I think I only got two things from there. So I got this, and I got this. It's kind of funny. I got this little cauldron. If you notice on the inside, it, there's like glass. So I don't know. I should have double check with my. Yeah, I think I think it's like a glass, and I I don't know if they put the glass in because there's some like this. I don't know if you can see it. Like there's like this like it was like paint chips. This is not. I'm not doing so hot on the outside, but let's see if we can do it. Get it to you. I'm getting here not quite you see a little bit of the green right there so I mean, you could definitely see it like if I was if, if, yeah you could probably see it right here um it looked like it got some type of paint or something so um so yeah I don't know if it's chalk paint that'd be cool if it's chalk paint Write, write some sigils on here. I'm going to give it a shot. I have some chalk somewhere, so I'm going to, I'm going to check it out. Um, it was funny because I have one, two, three, three, possibly a fourth. There's a possible a fourth one that can be like a cauldron, but it's a different material. Uh, I think I showed it in one of my hauls. It's that brown one with a, with a, with a cap, with a cover. Uh, it has three little stumps like a cauldron. Uh, I still gotta do something with that. And I'm just, I picked it up. This 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 antique store is huge. It's very, well, most antique stores are big, but this person had like, you walk in, you think it's the first, it's technically like the first floor, and then it has stuff upstairs that covers the whole section. And then you go downstairs back in the level, and then you, there's another floor downstairs. So I went to the upstairs, and I saw this and I picked it up. That it was cool. I really like the size. And I'm like, I'm walking because it's also the same area, same up, the same area on the upstairs. I got this. I think I got this like as you go after you go up the stairs and round the corner. I saw this hat and I smashed it and I have to put it on. I know it's a, it's a large, to extra large, a little bit big. So sometimes I have to pop it up like this a little bit. But um, I'm walking down and I saw this. 
So I'm carrying these two, and I'm like, okay, I think I'm ready. And I'm like, no, you know what? I don't need another cauldron. So I went back to the area, but I couldn't remember where exactly I smashed it. And I looked, and I looked, and I looked. Like, I, I knew the area. I'm just like, where did I, where did I get this? Because I was going to put it back. It was only like three bucks. And I was like, after like 15, 20 seconds, I went, okay, I guess you're coming home with me. So I guess the universe, you know, you know, don't need to sound corny, but the universe said, no, you're taking this. This is yours. So I got this and the hat. The hat was like $7. This thing was like 2 $3. So, and then in the same town, where the antique store, I actually went up there. I needed to get, um, a couple candles and one it was funny because um no, I did not get this one. I don't know why I got that one. But um the last time I saw these sizes I think I said it on a couple sometime last year. Um last time I saw these sizes up close like face to face not online was back in Mass when I was living in Massachusetts when I first started on my Johnny, um, this they, they were around. I didn't buy these. I went votives, I went tapers. Um, so you know, those are the two I went to a lot. So I'm excited that this uh witchcraft store had these. Um, so I want to get a couple candles. I also bought a bunch of yellows, uh, and really thick purple one and then this color I think is so underrated um, is a brown one never saw a brown one before of course I think I remember seeing like oranges yellows uh, purples blues reds um, I was trying to find a pink one and there was one that it looked pink but when you when you picked it up when you picked it up um, it looked kind of reddish, so I'm like, eh, I'll put that back. So, um, I put that back. I like to try to find a pink one. I have my reasons why. Um, no, my relationship is fine. It's for something else. So, um, I do like the fact that she keeps them. I know it's, it's not, quote, quote, environmental, but I kind of glad she puts these in a plastic so they don't get dirty or dusty in there it keeps the dust away it's a it's a catch-22 it really is so i got a brown one i got a purple one and i got this um orange one and then i got these yellows and if some of you guys have followed me i think i may have talked to you a bit about the color yellow for me um i don't know i think it was just bypassing but yellow when, when I would call the elements, yellow is not, for me, the, the element for air when I'm calling for that corner, for that element, for that corner. Um, it's usually light blue or it's gray. And I've, I have to work with yellow as a fire element. Like, I will use it for, like, the air, like the properties for the air element. Like, say, inspiration, uh, success, the sun, uh, intellect, you know, what have you. Like, it, like, I get it. It makes sense on that. But I have to work with it with another color that's going to complement what I'm going for in a spell walk. Um, yes, I can use herbs or oils or what have you. I can probably make my own mix, but there's something I have to give it a little push. So I have to use like, a, you know, a red, maybe an orange, uh, because of the, all three of the colors are fire sign, uh, fire sign, fire elements. Even to me, yellow is, to me personally, if this is fire element for me. But I understand why it's air. 
for the color. It's, I, I know it's it's odd, but I, I'm hoping I'm making sense um, a little bit. So uh, I've decided to grab these and try to work with it more and see what's going to work. I will say this though, I cannot work with it by itself. Even as a file, I have to work with it with, with something with it to complement it. It's 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 whatever, you know. Done rambling about that. So candle. Oh, ooh, ooh. the other two things. Cause I keep last couple of times I went up there, I keep seeing these. So I've been slowly collecting spoons for my workings. And I have let's see. One, two, three. Let's see. The crystal, the wooden one, the pentacle. I know of three. There's a fourth one. That's right, there's a fourth one. So I got four spoons. And I picked up a fifth one. But this is cute. I have also a couple of spoons that I want, including this one, that I want to decorate. There's one that does not need to de need any decoration at all. Um, I have a, a little spoon that I got for like a buck or some change at another antique store. It's one of those small fancy ones that has like has like the branches and stuff on it, and then it has a crystal at the end. I've seen those go for like fifteen, uh, fifteen to seventeen dollars. I saw the antique store for like under five bucks, so I think it was like. Two dollars some change maybe two bucks at the most um this one was only about buck so oh did i say two things i got yeah sorry there's there's three other things so i got the candles i got the, can the yellow candles these this which one it's tough with which one because these two are so fucking cool um, okay, I'm going to go with this one. The last time I saw a, again, back in Massachusetts in the beginning of my, my path, I, I, after I left Massachusetts, I'd never seen this shape of a candle till I moved down here and went to the store. And I decided to get one, and she only had two um, on this particular shape. Um, I remember seeing orange one. I remember seeing a blue one, what have you. So I went back, and I'm like, oh, you know what? I want to get one of her, one of the, you know. And they didn't, you know, the orange one was gone, the blue one was gone, I think the red one was gone. And but I saw these other two, and saw a black one, right? And then I saw this one. I'm like, this is cool. It's a couple copper colored I mean it's probably copper coated but still it's it's still cool so I'm hoping she gets more of these because I want to get one for my daughter for her birthday because she wants to she's looking into Egyptian so I'm thinking about getting I'm hoping there's a gold one I'll get her one of those maybe copper one if there's another one but yeah I'm keeping this one with myself. I was kind of torn. I mean, I went to get it for myself anyway, and then afterwards I had an after that. I was like, maybe I should get it for my for my daughter for her birthday coming. Uh, this was for me. I'll keep it for myself. I'll keep an eye out. So. And then last but not least, um, ever since we've been here and I found the store, I keep eyeing this sphere. She sells crystals and all this stuff, and I picked it up, and I'm like, okay, this is not a stone. I'm actually playing with them. I'm bouncing it between my hands right now. I'm like okay I mean it reminds me of the sun because I have a moon I have a moon moonstone sphere so I kind of want to get like a, another sphere that has to do with the sun so you got the moon and the sun and for a second I thought it was a tiger eye and I'm looking at it I'm like that is not a tiger eye picked it up it's not quite heavy it's a decent sized sphere so every time I went back you know I, I don't go over day it's roughly like 37 minutes from my house 
And so the whole time we've been here, I've gone up there for the past year. Kept seeing it, kept seeing it. So after I cut my candles and this thing, I went to the antique store, got this in the, in the McCullough. And I decided, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go back and look at the sphere. And she saw me. She's like, hello again. I said, hi. I said, I went straight over there, grabbed it. And I'm like, I've been eyeing on this thing for a long time. And she had a co-worker that went, well, it's been calling. I'm like, yeah, it's been calling, calling to me for like a year. So I got it. And I asked her, what is this? What is this? I know it's not a stone. I wish it doesn't darken like that when I go close up. I mean, I don't know if you can see it, but it sparkles. I mean, it does look like a sun. So I asked her, so what is it? She says, it's beeswax and raisin. Yeah. Yeah. That is cool as shit. Sun energies, bees, I'm going to look at bees, awesome, so yeah, so there's that, this is for my little trip on Friday, so all that and a half, and then the book I got for, from yesterday that I pre-ordered, I was so excited, I, I got it from Llewellyn, it's by Sandra Keynes or Kynes. Um, I do have one of her books. It's her oil book, her oil blend. Her, it's like magical oil blend um, that my husband got me. When did he get it for me? I think we were living in Oregon. It was either the last Christmas we had in Oregon, or it could have been the year, or it could have been my birthday before that. But like, I remember getting it as a gift. And I've been using it ever since. And I saw that she was coming out with this book. And I was so stoked because I enjoy her um, oil book. Um, and I was hoping this would be a slightly different format than what she had. And I'm, and it is a different format. Uh, was it yesterday? I think I want to say it was yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. I had to think of it. Yeah, it was yesterday. It came in yesterday. Um, I took a gl decent glance at it. I will be doing... A book review very very soon this will be my first book review but I will show it to you um, this author has also done the Llewellyn's complete book of correspondence as well and I've heard nothing but good things I do not have that one I've heard nothing but good things every every uh, content creator on YouTube have said um, you know, it's so it's good, and I can, and I, I mean, I flipped through it at a at a at a, at a witchcraft store in Connecticut, and I, I can see why. But I'm kind of okay. I have other books for correspondence, like stuff like that. Um, but I, you know, there's one of not by her, but by somebody from another author of um, course, uh, correspondence for ceremonial magic. Um, I believe Ivy the Occultist brought up, and she she really liked. Um, so yeah. So this one is called, um, it's actually the, the exact, the exact, 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 encyclopedia, here we go, uh, the exact, the exact, encyclopedia books for Julia Ilks. I think she has one like a thousand spells and something else. So it's, I think Sound of Kinds kind of did that title, but it's a core, it's the Riches Encyclopedia of Magical Plants, History, Folklore, Correspondence, and Spells by Sandra Kinds. This is your ultimate ex. A to Z guide, 550 plus magical plants for rituals, spellcraft, divination, and more. 
an indis uh, indispensable resource for magical practitioners. This illustrated encyclopedia offers detailed profiles of all the herbs, houseplants, fruits, vegetables, trees, and flowers you could ever need. This comprehensive reference guide is packed with familiar favorites like apple and lemongrass, alongside lesser known options like moonwort and pig nut. With hundreds of plants to choose from, you increase psychic abilities, manifesting your dreams, and more. Reflecting herbal traditions from around the world, this men men meticulously researched profile includes botanical, common, and folk names, description and attributes, history and lore, inspiration for spells and rituals, correspondence, appropriate cautions. With the option to look up entries by name, magical use, zodiac sign, planetary association, or elements, this book makes it easy to, easy to find the right plant for the job. The richest encyclopedia of magical plants will support all your botanical needs along a unique spiritual path, making it an essential addition to your home library. And it has uh, the thing with the author, uh, Sandra Kynes, is a member of the Order of Bards, Ovets, and Druids, and the author of 19 books, including Llewellyn's Complete Book of Correspondence, Magical Fairy Plants, and Herbal Remedies for Beginners. Additionally, her work has been featured in various magazines and Llewellyn's popular almanacs and date books. Visit her at kynes.net. Uh, I think I got this for 35 bucks. This is a chunko. Ready for what it looks like? They might be looking a little bit backwards. You got the mandrake right there. And this is a decent chunk of. Let me just look at it. So I will be showing a. Yeah, I mean, it has like every plant. So, yep, she has. Um, I mean, from introduction A through Z of the plants, um, Epidex of power and attribution, Epidex B, plants by other associations, Epidex C is deities, bibliography index. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I mean, yeah, there's an introduction, kind of a couple of pages of, you know, oh, where is it? There was something. Yeah, plant tools. About this book. I mean, she did give a um, a nod to Scott Cunningham. Just so, just so FYI, uh, she brought up Scott Cunningham's in Encyclopedia of Over the Herbs has been. Um, so, um, she gave a shout, a, you know, a little shout out to him. Um, yeah, there's correspondence, there's cautions, there's some plants that has an ogum, the oum alphabet. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying not to go too much into it because I really want to do an actual good video on this book and show you what the inside looks like. And her oil book came in, came out, published 2013. I think I got it roughly six years ago maybe seven years ago seven years ago, I might have to go back to one of my pictures um to see what year I posted it on Facebook because it was part of my birthday haul kind of deal um I will look it up and I'll show that in another video um, how long I've had it and this one came out in 2024 so that was almost 10 years that from her oil book to this um she has brought out some other books but like between this and her oil book that's almost 10 years so this is something I think she worked really hard on and it's very well done very well um, formatted just it's it's good like this is this is gonna be up there with Scott Cunningham just just saying just saying so that is it for now and I will see you guys very, very soon.